All right, we're here at the NVIDIA booth looking at some Tegra 3 stuff. Um, what do we have here? So we've got a... We have a Transformer Prime. A Transformer Prime with Tegra 3. Right, hooked up to an Xbox 360 wired controller. Wired controller, I'm with and you. And we have a GeForce uh, desktop system down there. Okay. And what the system is doing is it's actually playing Skyrim but at the same time it's compressing the game and streaming it via the internet through this tablet as a high definition video stream and it's also sending the bits and pieces that enable you to play this game here. Got it. Uh, so basically tablet. you've got the, the Transformer Prime remoted into the, um, the desktop. Exactly. And wow, there does not seem to be any lag. Exactly. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So imagine you're sitting in your study playing this game in front of your PC and now you're tired, you want to go to your bedroom and continue playing it on a tablet. Right. With this technology, it's, you know, you, you can get the same great gaming experience, zero lag. It feels as though you're playing on a high-end PC, but it's actually the Transformer Prime that right. gives you up to 20 hours of battery life. Now, I have this game on my Xbox 360, and I'll be honest, um, it looks like identical on the uh, Transformer Prime. It really does. Yeah, doesn't it? It's yeah, fantastic. It's it not better. <laughs> no. It's a small margin. Now, the, now the external monitor is being driven by the desktop, right? Yes, okay, the external monitor sure. is the, but this is the... Because that would be super impressive if you were driving a boat. <laughs> yeah. you know? But that's okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm getting toasted by this dragon here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is slick. That's a great way to play uh, a PC game on the uh, Android tablets. That is impressive. Yes, really good. Man. I'd play, but I'm terrible, so. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we'll go take a look at something else now. All right. So this is more of the uh, Transformer Prime with the Tiger 3. Right. This game is called Shadow Gun uh, Dead Zone. Uh, right. It's not the release of the Android market. What they're showing here is multiplayer gaming technology. Right. The two Transformer Primes yeah, yeah. are hooked up by the uh, internet, and you can actually have up to eight players gaming it in each other, while one hand can try to host as a server, mm -hmm. and the other seven can join in, and then you can have classic uh, or unreal tournament style gaming so, so you've got like LAN gaming up to eight devices on yes. the, on the, with the transformer product. Okay. Wow. So one of them you said acts as a server. I mean, right. they're all independently doing their own yeah. graphics, exactly. but then that server piece is keeping track of all the yeah. machines. Okay. And again, you know, graphics wise, wow. Uh, now, Again, you guys aren't driving that from the... Um, yeah, so the Transformer Prime is actually driving that big screen. It is or is not? It is. Wow. That is impressive. So they have HDMI out somewhere? HDMI out here. Right. And they're also using an Xbox 360 controller, right? All this talking around, we have not had his concentration waver yeah. as he plays this game. He's like oblivious to us. And he's probably saying, "Go away with the camera." But really, that's impressive. What's the um, resolution we have on the big screen being driven right now? Is it uh, 1280 uh, by 720? 1280 by 720. Okay. Yeah. So HD gaming, multiplayer, super. All right. Can you show me something else? All right, so now this is the uh, ZTE 7-inch yeah, with Tegra. This is the ZTE 7-inch uh, Tegra 3 tablet, mm -hmm. uh, the world's first uh, quad-core uh, uh, mobile processor powered 7-inch tablet. ZTE is the largest phone maker in China, China. the fourth yep. largest in the world. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's really great for us, and it's running ice cream sandwich. It's got all the features of ice cream sandwich. You can swipe on apps that you're not using. Yeah, got this new uh, UI where you can uh, scroll between widgets and apps very right. easily and you can see it's still peaceful and very fluid. Nice. Do we have any video or anything loaded on there? Some pictures we can look at? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let me just watch my video. Just taking a look at the device from the side, too. I love these seven inch tablets. Has ZTE said what the battery life is on this? Uh, they haven't uh, mentioned that yet. They're still like tuning the software and the device to make sure it's uh, sure. as well. Just trying to look for the gallery app here. Once I find that, I can launch there it. There it is. There. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so how to movies, I assume. Oh, yeah. Movies. Why not? I'm all up for a movie. It's been a long week. <laughs> Oh, it's rated R. I, I can't watch this. <laughs> all right, every all the kids, turn your head. So this will do a 1080p playback. Yeah, I'm it assuming. does 1080p playback, 1080p yeah. video capture. It's got a 5 megapixel camera on it. Uh, 
It's a 1280 by 800 display. Uh, it's got a custom connector out there that you can use both for charging and also powering an uh, external HDTV via HDMI. Very nice. Uh, it's got a micro SD card slot and a SIM card slot on uh, one of the sides here. And, uh, Nice and smooth, uh, rubbery finish at the back. So nice, it was shiny on the corners there. Yeah, I tell you what, the video looks really smooth, buttery smooth. But I'm not surprised. I mean, yeah, you guys have Tegra such a. Yeah, it can handle up to 60 megabits high-profile video yeah. stream. That's more than uh, what uh, most Blu-rays are encoded. Right, so. that is sweet. Very nice.